What's good, y'all? It's your boy Dyer, the Kid, back in the cut with another reaction, baby. Hey, today we have Jaden Animations. Now, listen, we ain't did Jaden Animations in a while, most because she only uploads once every, like, month or two. You know what I'm saying? She's a content creator that puts a lot of work and effort into her content, and so it takes a while to get out. So we have this one right here. This one is called Being Not Straight. Don't know if she's talking about herself. I don't know. She might be talking about it in general. So we're going to find out when we react to this. But either way, make sure y'all show a lot of love to this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all for 400 supporters, not subscribers, supporters. I really appreciate y'all, man. And without further ado, let's get it. Okay, before I even say anything, let's lay out some ground rules. Okay. This is probably going to be the most open I'll ever get about my personal life. Oh. I know I've shared tidbits of myself and life through little stories. But okay. when it comes to personal stuff, I'm very private. Right. Especially within the past. You want to get some years. juicy deets? I'm gonna okay. I'm talking in very general surface level terms because specific nah, personal details are for me to know. And in the nicest way possible. None of our business. None of your business. Basically, this is something Facts. I want to talk I about and you. share and bring a spotlight to. Uh, but at the same time, you get the Cliff Don't Notes version. More. So no go. trying to assume or guess anything beyond what I'm sharing within this video. At the end of the day, we're all just strangers refusing to listen to the Stranger Danger rule. That's a fact. All right, formalities aside, let's get into it. I've come <laughs> to realize that I'm Arrow Ace, which stands for Arrow Ace. Asexual. That sounds like a Pokemon move. Isn't there really a Pokemon move named Air Ace or Aerial Ace? Am I wrong? I could be wrong about that. I don't know. I'm not an expert on Pokemon. That's not like a Pokemon move, though, but she's Arrow Ace. And I know what you're thinking. That's not gay. What the hell is that? <laughs> and you know what? That is completely fair because I didn't know what that was either. Right? Aromantic and asexual are two different things, and I'm going to break them Aromantic down. Aromantic and asexual. Starting with aromantic because no one really knows what that one is. Wait a minute. So I know what asexual is. That's when you don't have any or barely, like you might have a smidgen, but barely any at all sexual attraction toward anybody. So aromantic, oh, I'm thinking of like arrow, like A-E-R-O, but it's it's like aromantic. So like, oh, so she doesn't have romantic feelings toward anybody. I thought she's had crushes in the past. I thought she could have sworn she talked about that. I don't know. And also it's my personal favorite. Someone okay. who's aromantic is defined as a person who feels very little to no romantic attraction to Okay, just like I thought. So like they might not develop crushes on people or feel the so need damn, to be you can't in a fall in love That's fucked up. with anyone. Very general terms, but hopefully you can love, the right? Gist. If not, here's a little story example from me. Growing up, I never developed crushes on anyone. Damn. I remember when I was in fifth grade, kids were talking about their crushes left and right, and it was starting to feel like something. That's tough. You ain't got a high school crush? Too just because I, I thought Not that it matters when you're happens. an adult. I'm just saying. Don't make fun of nine year old me. I was a sheep. Anyway, <laughs> I decided I needed to have a crush because that's just what happens to people. And I very robotically okay. chose this oh. random kid in the class who we can call Pikachu. That's not his name. Pikachu. He didn't mean anything to me and I didn't do anything about this crush. Like I didn't tell anyone or anything. Okay. It was just a headcanon thing for me to- I looked at my crush for five minutes. And, like, I was hitting and a persona five notes. Quota. But it's funny, Point up. on Valentine's Day, you know how in elementary school, everyone would bring cheesy Walmart Valentine's cards for everyone in the class, and then you'd have a box full of candy and hollow mm -hmm. emotions from everyone. Ow. Well, my school did that. When I went through my box, I pulled out Pikachu's Valentine and thought to myself, someone who has a crush <laughs> like on that someone one. would keep this. I think. Eat the so card. I put Pikachu's copy paste Batman Valentine in my drawer and promptly forgot about it because it meant nothing to me, but hey, that's just what I thought I was supposed to do. Damn. Man, I'm so good at this. Then like a <laughs> year or so later, when my mom was going through my room, she pulled out the card and was like, why do you have this? And I was like, honestly, I have no idea. Right. In past, I entered junior high and thought to myself, all right, this is the time where people start developing crushes and then do something about Definitely it. Definitely middle school. Like get into relationships or something. So they, they don't like mean anything in elementary. To be interested in people. On the first day of school, I scoped out the room to see if there was anyone that I thought looked like someone I could develop a crush on. And okay. this was when classes started being divided up into periods. So there were like six True. batches of people I sifted through. Right. No one caught my eye. And I thought, man. I heard Wait a minute, I, I tried to pause it. Went through the whole school year. Next year old around, classes changed. I did the same. Listen, I fat fingered trying to pause it. I hit the button over here and it messed it up. But I was going to say, as I heard, y'all got like eight periods nowadays in high school and middle school. That's tough, bro. Unlucky. Damn. Went through the whole school year. Eight Next periods? year old around, classes changed. I did the same potentials crush scoping again. And the same thing happened. I wasn't drawn to anyone at all. <laughs> nuh -uh. Man. 
Unlucky again. Every year I thought no crushes. something would change. Especially going into high school when people started actually hitting puberty and right. getting conventionally attractive. Look at Sasuke. Like, Get him out of here. Life grades kindergarten <laughs> to senior year, which I'm pretty sure is like 13 years. I wasn't interested in a single person throughout any of it. Damn. And what's funny was I was thinking, man, what's the deal? Right. Why is no one attractive? And I went to a big <laughs> high school. There were like three and a half thousand students there. Damn. Surely I am not the outlier in this formula. Is that, is that normal? Why are none of you attractive? By the time I was going to college, <laughs> I really felt like I had to find someone. It felt like I was falling behind the curve or if I was going to find someone. It, it would feel like that. to happen now. I made a lot of new friends and that's when I thought I developed my first genuine crush. Long story short, in high school, right no, it wasn't a crush. And hey I man, I know this is off topic, but since Raichu's on the screen, it's kind of on topic. Hey man, stop Raichu hate, bro. I'm tired of everybody hating on Raichu. I know Pikachu was the mascot Pokemon, and in the anime, Ash chose not to evolve his Pikachu into Raichu because he wanted to keep his Pikachu. But that's literally the only reason everyone hates Raichu. And people have no better reason than that. Y'all don't. Tell me a better reason as to why you don't like Raichu as opposed to Pikachu. Tell me. The Pikachu is cuter. Okay, that's a fair reason. But y'all have any reason other than that? <laughs> you copying off of Ash, and you don't want to evolve your Pikachu to a Raichu just because he didn't. Don't lie to me. And if Pikachu has better stats, or he doesn't have better stats, that wouldn't make any sense. It's an evolution. But if he gets like better moves and stuff, if he's just better overall, like once you get him to max level, then Pokemon experts, I don't need to hear from y'all because y'all are doing it for obvious reasons. You know what I'm saying? Min max and shit. But everybody else is just playing Pokemon casually. Evolve your Pikachu into a Raichu, man. Come on now. You can always just go get another Pikachu and keep that one as a Pikachu. Just wrong. I just met someone who... I, I just felt the need to go on that tangent because I, I messed with that boy Raichu. You know what I'm saying? I thought was cool and funny and had a really strong desire to be close to them. But looking back, knowing what I do now, it wasn't in a romantic way. I right? realized I can get very excited and tunnel vision on people I think are really cool. Or that was just a homie. And kind of obsess over getting to know them or just want to spend a lot of time with them. But whenever uh -huh. I got into those tunnel vision moments if i sat down and asked myself if i actually wanted to be in a relationship with them no nope. hands or cuddle or kiss the answer was not really <laughs> but if they wanted to i could go along with it look at you which i do not think is right no you shouldn't <laughs> my do very that old flirting video which i refuse to rewatch. i think at one point in it i said something along the lines of if you're interested in someone but they just want to be friends i don't understand why some people can't deal with that and that was primarily because I didn't realize there was an emotional difference between a crush or falling in love and just being really good friends with someone. Right. So, oops, sorry for the bad take, <laughs> I think. I really just thought having a crush on someone was wanting to be their number one best friend. No. Look, I said don't make fun of me. To me, it used to feel like if I was wanting to become friends with someone to that high of a degree, that would be the next step or justify why I wanted to put this much time, effort, and energy into one person. Not saying that men and women can't be friends. Not saying you can't have legitimate friends with a man or a woman. If you're the, you know, so if the, you can be a legitimate friend with the opposite gender. You can. But generally, most times, statistically speaking, the higher percentage of times, when a man becomes friends with a woman, he generally was attracted to her at some point in time and maybe thought about romantic things at some point in time, but eventually it turned into a friendship. Maybe she friends on him. Maybe he decided that she wouldn't really best can wouldn't be the best candidate. I'm tongue tied over here. Wouldn't be the best candidate for a relationship himself, but he thought she was really cool. So they stayed friends. Whoever decided to friend zone who they became friends. That's just what it is. But you can't say that. Like, ask most men. You know, y'all got to take my advice. Go ask any man that you know. And if he has a best friend, a best female friend, ask him, were you ever attracted to her at one point in time? He'll probably tell you, yeah. At one point. I'm not anymore, but I was at one point. And it's not like that she's not attractive anymore. It's just that we passed that. You know what I'm saying? So from a man, that's generally what it is. And it didn't feel right or even fair going through all of this with someone and then tell them they're just a friend. I don't know. It just didn't feel like it made sense, even though I really didn't technically see them in it's a bogus. romantic way. I just didn't understand what was going on, really, or that there were... Friends on the people and women. Y'all know what y'all be doing when y'all be doing that. A logical understanding. You know he like you, goddammit. Don't be trying to act like you, you don't know what's going on. The that I was supposed to be interested in people in a romantic way didn't help with anything. No, nah, I, I wouldn't say supposed. 
say good friends, but never felt like I could have that. And I worried that if I said no, that we would just start drifting apart, which I obviously didn't want either. You might. It's been a very long journey. You gotta deal with that. About myself. Everything I'm saying has all been extremely subconscious and not understood or defined for many years. That's another thing. Uh, ladies, if you got a guy friend and you know he's into you, bro, like you know he likes you. But you want to keep him as just a friend, but you stringing him along knowing he likes you, but you ain't really shutting him down just yet. What you doing is bogus. You know he likes you. You know he's really only doing what he's doing and acting the way he's acting toward you is because he likes you. Like, why are you stringing him along for? Because the fact of the matter is, y'all might lose your friend. If you let him know, hey, I'm not really interested in you like that. I just want to be friends. That might result in y'all drifting apart. You're going to have to deal with that, bro. You can't sit up here and keep on acting like you don't know what's going on, no. That's messed up. And if you want to do it, just know that you messed up for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think I was bi or pan for the longest time. Come on, bro. I would think to myself, well, bi is being interested in both genders. Right. I don't really care for either, but zero is equal to zero. So I guess I'm bi or pan. That don't make no sense. I got math involved. <laughs> If I knew what aromanticism was when I was growing up, things would have been a lot less complicated for me right. a lot sooner. I think it's mainly because people don't really talk about it or even know what it yeah, is. Yeah, literally know it was a thing. Real. Romance and love is the number one most talked about. Some people don't fall in love, planet. ever. Everything it's, I've it's been thing that happens. learned through society is that love and romance is everywhere. Everyone feels oh. it. And it's gonna happen to you. Mm. Just a funny little note. There was a point where I was listening to some generic romance song on the radio. <laughs> you know, like all of them. And I just suddenly right? thought to myself, wait, wait do, do people, people actually, actually feel these, these things, things towards, towards each other? other? Like, like all, all these mushy, mushy lyrics, lyrics are, are real emotions? emotions? Yeah. They're not joking. And that's when I started feeling like something was different. <laughs> I approached <laughs> romance under the blanket term, thought of, sure, why not? And didn't recognize it was actually a, a fear yeah, cupid, which might sound stupid. Shooter, but uh... I don't know. No one presented me with any other options. I did a lot of rationalizing. If someone ever expressed romantic interest in me, I would mentally make a kind of logical list of their pros and cons and the pros <laughs> and cons of what a relationship would look like with them based on what I knew about them. I mean, you're person. supposed to do that anyway. I didn't realize there was supposed to be an extra like excited feeling or yeah. the fact that you're not supposed to think about it as if it were a business exchange. <laughs> I understand compatibility is a huge important variable when it comes to sharing a relationship with someone, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's still apparently still a very emotionally driven thing. Yeah. And I literally had to make that discovery and teach it to myself. Now I'm going to talk about being asexual very briefly, and I'm going to preface okay. it with Let's all just be mature about this, all right? We're okay. all pretending to be adults here. I've got my eye on some of you. <laughs> Behave. Okay, this is definitely treading into uncomfortable personal boundary territory for me, but yeah, I do want to share that I'm asexual too, which okay. is defined as someone who feels little to no intimate attraction to anyone. Now, I'm not going to lie, Jaden, uh, and, and, and I respect. I respect it, you know what I'm saying? But that, that would suck, bro. You can't fall in love. And you can't feel no sexual desire either. Like, God damn. You know what? Actually, maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. Maybe not having the burden of sexual desire in you would actually be better. You'd be more productive. You get shit done. A lot of things that, like, for men, example, I know a lot of things that men do are ultimately in the pursuit of trying to find a woman one day. You know what I'm saying? Like, the ultimate goal is to eventually, one day, find a woman, settle down, have family. But if you ain't even got them, that shit boggling your mind up, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got it in your way. Maybe you'll get more done. I don't know. Maybe being asexual and aromantic is actually better from a productivity standpoint. Hey, food for thought. Look, I know we said we're all adults, but I'm still going to dance around the vocabulary, all right? <laughs> oh, okay. There's a difference no between fair, Jaden. romantic and intimate attraction. Little side note, I will say you can experience romantic attraction to someone, but no intimate attraction. Or you can... Ex That's weird. I know what she's about to say. You, you can do it the other way around. If you feel romantic attraction to somebody, like you, you all the way in love with them, but don't want to have sex with them. I, I don't want to call any of y'all weird, but that's that's kind of that's kind of abnormal. That's, it's weird. I was going to say abnormal. It's, I've already said it, so let's, let's go ahead and double down on it. That's weird. How you going to fall? How you going to be in love with somebody and you ain't trying to, you ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying? Bump uglies. That's the way we're going to, that's what we're going to say. Intimate attraction, but no romantic. But this one makes perfect sense. You can definitely have just one night stands, you know what I'm saying? Have sex with somebody and. Never talk to him again.
attraction. I've done it. You can be one and not the other. It's not necessarily a package deal. Yeah. Most people feel both, and I do not feel either. That's, anyway, that, that's, I have never that been suck. magnetically attracted to the look or shape of a single person in my entire life and did not realize it was a real <laughs> Smash Bros? Until very recently. I'm able to identify one. And we can agree we're all attracted to Smash Bros. Someone looks conventionally attractive, like by textbook definition, but I never realized people are genuinely drawn to people Raichu. they think are attractive. I Who didn't that? know that people could just see someone and be like, wow, they're gorgeous. Uh -huh. I would love to get to know that person or maybe go on a date with them or whatever else you people do. I didn't think it was real. I thought people were exaggerating or nope. something. I don't know. It's and real. I also couldn't believe that some people feel that with multiple people. Yeah. Or like celebrities, which sounds absolutely exhausting. It ties back to when I was in school, like looking around for people to like. It makes sense now that no one caught my eye because that was not very per person. I was just wasting my time for 13 years. I feel like such a fool. Now, there's an easy assumption to make about asexual people and that they all have zero interest in being intimate with anyone at all, which actually isn't true. Some of really? them are genuinely turned off by it and some aren't. Some reasons would be that they just don't mind it or they want to make their partner happy or enjoy the emotional closeness of it there's a million okay. different reasons and a million different that would suck too though bro like okay so you're asexual but not aromantic so you could fall in love with somebody but you're not interested in sex but you have sex anyway because you know they like it like the act of hat bro i'm gonna tell y'all right now bro sex is amazing when you're doing it right but imagine having sex and you're not in it. It just feels like work. It would just feel like a workout, bro. It's like, and nobody likes working out, man. They're like, you can get addicted to working out, but you're not really addicted to working out per se. You're addicted to the results you get from working out. If we could snap our fingers and be in super great shape, nobody would ever go to gyms. Who's going to go to the gym and manually work out, manually do reps and all that? Yeah, guys, I'm in here doing these reps. You guys are all out here snapping your fingers and taking the easy way to great physical fitness. I'm in here putting in the hard work. Nobody's going to do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's the results from working out, not the actual act of working out that you get addicted to. So with that being said, bro, imagine sex. You're not interested in sex. You don't really feel anything when having sex. But you, you still got to do it. Oh, hell no, nah, bro. <laughs> that would suck. Fuck that. People, am I sure you can easily have sex with no romantic feelings? Nope. And you don't know me personally enough in the slightest to be able to try and parasocially analyze where I stand on that spectrum. I'm just here to say I am this. We are moving on. Hey. When I stumbled onto the term arrow ace and started realizing I fall into that category, it helped me feel much more confident and sure of myself. I've uh -huh. read a lot about how people say they felt broken or that something was wrong with them. But honestly, I was the complete opposite. Coming from my very biased perspective, I think Arrow Ace is one of, if not the coolest and most confident orientations out there. Not really? needing a single gram of romantic or intimate validation from anyone is so cool. Well, it, ain't that we it ain't that people that are romantics necessarily need it. It's just that we want it. We want it someday, you know what I'm saying? But I don't walk around. I mean, some people do. Some people are literally broken down by the fact that they can't find a significant lover. I don't walk around actively thinking about it, though. It'll happen when it happens. You know what I'm talking about? All you need is yourself to then be... Then again, later on in life, it might get stronger. And family, too. And birds. The more I came to terms with Definitely the birds. I'm arrow ace, the more empowered and capable... I didn't know there was a flag for it. But at the same time, I was also Everything starting has a flag. to feel more alone and isolated. As cool and amazing and unique and awesome as I think it is, it can be really hard for other people to relate to or even understand. Everyone <laughs> else and their orientations are able to bond and relate to the love and romance aspects. And <laughs> why are you looking at her? Like, we don't do that. I don't right? even know if I'm explaining it very well. It kind of does go against everything everyone's ever been taught about anything. No, we get it. Anything. We understand. Romance is taught to be a basic assumed emotion, which I do think is a bit misleading. A common argument used against the arrow ace orientation is- I wouldn't say it's misleading considering, considering that most people, like the overwhelming majority of people, do feel these things. Y'all are definitely in a very small minority if you don't feel these emotions at all. Most people do. Like, that's literally how we still have a society. People, you know what I'm saying? People have families. People have multiple kids by multiple people. It's because we have sexual and romantic feelings. So I wouldn't say it's misleading. It's just that, you know, 
if you're a person that doesn't feel those things, you gotta speak out about it. Let us know. Is that romance and intimacy is what makes someone human? But I mean, I, I wouldn't don't say know. all that. Lots of birds mate for life, which is a better ratio than people. And all uh -huh. animals get frisky. You know, that's just how they became not extinct. Yeah. It's not an exclusive to humans thing. If I were to guess, I would assume the thing that makes someone human is basic empathy being like, human i'm not an emotionalist monster i can still love people i love my family and my pets just platonically yeah not romantically and i would hope that you're the same i just don't experience romantic love <laughs> which i don't know y'all better not romantically love y'all family Definitely not me nasty bastards i'm having the time of my life i don't think you need to be in a relationship to be happy and if you don't want to you know. be just on your own i think there's many types of people in relationships that push the boundaries of what a conventional relationship looks like right telling someone that they need to be in a romantic relationship to be happy and fulfilled is weird yeah and then when that I person agree. says they're not happy they're told relationships take a lot of work and that's just how it goes and that and that's the thing nobody likes work relationships do take a lot of work bro some people just aren't into it that's also weird i don't know i also think it's weird that once someone reaches a certain age people inherently start thinking it's sad they're not in a romantic relationship or assume they're lonely and sad yeah no one thinks a child is sad and lonely just because they're not in a long-term relationship <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't get it. And and I also think I'm rambling. At the end of the day, it's all very complicated to talk about I these know. things. Especially because I don't know the feelings I'm supposed to be feeling, let alone talk about. I just know for me, the terms aromantic and asexual are able to articulate things I was subconsciously feeling and thinking before I even realized I was feeling and thinking them. Uh -huh. I don't plan on talking about this very much, if at all, ever again. I just want to play my silly little video games, maybe <laughs> tell a story here or there. But I wanted to bring the orientations to the story surface and try to get more representation hey i never knew this I was a thing I could help more people become more i knew about this, asexual i didn't know about aromantic i was confused as hell for a while and could have used something like this it's a real thing you don't have to feel any sort of romance or whatever <laughs> to be considered a real person personally i think it's really cool and badass and don't be afraid to look more into aromantic generic search engine sexualism definitely not google what i said in this video resonated with you to any degree like i said this is all very surface level stuff yeah. they're both much larger spectrums than you'd think and maybe you fall under some umbrella category with them i don't know or not either way this huh. has all been my personal experience with this stuff is right. there more for me to figure out within it yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. It can get pretty complicated and confusing. Haha, <laughs> awesome. Will I be sharing any of that with you? Nope, no. Nope. This is all you get. Hope you can understand even just a little of what I talked about. Yeah. If not, that's I understand. Totally I don't know about y'all, but I get it. I just hope you can be nice. <laughs> hey, okay. So that's going to do it for that video. Uh, Jaden Animations is Arrow Ace. She's aromantic, meaning she feels little to no romantic feelings toward anybody. And she's also asexual. She feels little to no intimate feelings toward anybody. She didn't really care about falling in love. She didn't really give a damn about having no sex. You know what I'm saying? She just out here trying to play her video games. And at the end of the day, like I said, man, even though I don't think I would want to be this, like, not be, it wouldn't be that bad not being romantic, but being very sexual. It would kind of suck being hyper romantic, but not giving a damn about sex, because you probably gonna have to do sex for the partner. If you, unless you can find another person who's aromantic, but also not asexual. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think I missed those two words up. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, goddammit. But yeah, being what she is, maybe you're more productive. Maybe you get shit done because you're not sitting there actively thinking about a cute guy or a cute girl or anything like that. You just, you just, you just doing your thing. But with that being said, make sure y'all do y'all thing, bro. Like, share, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. If you do hit the subscribe button though, Make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. I'm about to get up out of this thing. I'm about to rest. I actually just came in from out of town. I'm tired. <laughs> and until next time, this is your boy, Dabra the Kid, signing out. Peace. Hey.